Down this narrow trodden pathway is this quiet, lovely stream that breathes life to some of its residents here. Beneath that silent water are few swimming dwellers which unfortunately are routinely snatched by a fisher's net. Such, however, is always an expected fate of every fish, always ends up being hunted for food, whether it dwells in the ocean or even in this quiet little stream. Overlooking this stream is this fascinating cliff that has shaped up due to the flash floods that come and go in the course of time. Just like that quiet stream, this formidable cliff has its residence too. A host of nesting birds builds families here. On the face of this cliff are scattered pocket holes where small birds of varied species live side by side. Over time, some of those holes get bigger and bigger, and smaller residents abandon them to find some fresh dwellings. This gives the opportunity for a bigger resident bird to come in and build a home. A big bird with powerful sharp eyes is always keen to occupy a big abandoned hole in this cliff community of wildlife to make a homey residence. This nocturnal owl prefers to live in a place like this to stay away from its predators due to its geography. It being a towering cliff is also dangerous for human to access. However, the mother owl has to live and feed her nestlings as well. She has to prey on other birds to give life to her own kin. Not content with the small birds within her periphery, she has to snatch bigger pigeons domesticated by the people around this village to sustain her family's diet. The feathers scattered around here are just a few of her leftovers from last night's prey. These are the remnants of the snatch pigeons from the bird houses of the villages around. Naturally, this makes the villagers irritated for the loss of their birds. So what's the solution? Hunt the predator, the preying owl. To hunt for the owl, a teamwork of like-minded fellows is needed. To reach the owl's nest, one has to get down the mouth of the owl's nest descending with a rope tied around his waist and to be held by the rest of the team atop the cliff. The rope must be long enough to reach the nearest bush so that it can be tied up around it as base support in case the cliffhanger incidentally loses his grip down below. This man, who goes by the name is Hak, is the team's cliffhanger. Is Hak is now starting his descent, carefully moving downward with the support of the rope that controls his body weight. But for this cliffhanger, going down below without saying hello, at least to the camera, would not be complete.
After his descent, the rest of the boys atop keep asking him if he is doing all right. They are patiently waiting for his hawk's signal to pull up the rope. A view from below the cliff is seen is Hawk on a cliff's suspended bed as he tries to figure out how to reach the owl to catch it from her nest. After a while, he takes a break and pulls out a cigarette stick to have some pops. About less than half an hour later, the rest of the team above the cliff is now receiving a message that an owl has been caught. Everyone is just ecstatic at the news. There she is. A mother owl has been caught and is wrapped in a piece of cloth so that it could not escape. So, it's a brown owl after all. Amazingly, this bird has a set of unidentical eyes. One is brown and the other is black. These guys around here are saying that her one eye must be blind. There are around 20 owl species in Pakistan. To this day, however, there is no scientific data on their population in the country. Some of the threats to their existence include the extensive deforestation that has deprived them of places to make nests and the shortage of feed. Owls, according to experts, play an important role in the ecology as they feed on small rodents such as mice and moles. Thus, they help farmers by reducing the population. Unfortunately, these guys have not been so kind to this beautiful bird. They accuse this poor fellow of her crimes against the loss of the domesticated pigeons that she snatches during nightfall. However, it is obvious here that the most compelling reason for the hunt is the hefty price of this bird in the black market. This owl is worth more than a hundred thousand Pakistani rupees or roughly 700 US dollars when sold to bird smugglers. For now, the owl is in Amir's hands, one of the serious pursuer of this bird. One of the guys around here has estimated that this bird is around 9 years old. There are supposed to be a couple of owls to hunt, but the male owl was out of the nest when a hunter came to catch them. Of course, in this time of social media, this very moment of time won't go away without everyone having a piece of this owl. Each one must take turn to snap a photo 
or a video clip with a celebrity verb of the hour. But is Hawk again at this time has sent a message from the cliff the three owl nestlings are also coming. So they had to run again to pull up the rope. So here they are, three poor nestlings that are too young and dainty to be hunted. These little fellows must be around a week or so by this time. And now it's the cliffhanger hunter's turn to happily celebrate his conquest of the bird by lifting it on both wings for the camera is around. But an unexpected twist of event has just happened. His hawk carelessly let loose of the owl from his grip and flew away up high in the air as the twilight approaches. The boys tried their best until night time to catch it back, but failed. For now, the only consolation prize for their hunting effort is the helpless owl's youngsters in their possession, for which they have already divided among themselves. On the following day, these hunters went back to the place hoping to find the owl that escaped from their hands. Ismail, one of the hunters said, This is the second time around that they have caught an owl in that cliff. The first one died while in captivity. Including the nestlings, they have caught at least five owls, supposedly. Oh. 
ثاني مرة؟ أيوة أو أول مرة حدث إيه؟ أول مرة شيل هذا بيت أوه. بعدين برا يجي هنا بعدين ثاني مرة خمسة نشيل ثاني.